Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our elders, the apostles at Great Millstone that rule well and that taught us his truth and much peace and blessings and salutations unto the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom to you all. Much peace and blessings and salutations to you all, man. And um, I was meditating. The um, the elder brother, um, Pashai, uh, I think, uh, Pashai, Pashai from um, City and DMV, Salakia, Pashai, yeah, elder Pashai, I think that's his name. He uh, made a lesson Wednesday about um, how there, there was a famine in the time of Paul. And um, I've been meditating all week on, on this, well, since Wednesday, on that video that moved me to make this one. Okay, and um, basically this, this video, this lesson is about you Israelites. Okay, where y'all at? The title of this, this lesson is where y'all at? And what I, what I mean by where y'all at is we're in the end times and we're living in the time of Acts and the time of the apostles and the prophets all over again. Okay. Um, there is a famine. Okay. It's going to intensify, but there is a famine now. And a lot of you Israelites, um, you know, you're on the common boards, you're Shalom woman, elders and brothers to death. But a lot of you can help the ministry. And I'm gonna prove, I'm gonna prove in the scriptures what I'm saying is biblical. A lot of you Israelites should be doing more for the ministry. You should want to be doing more for the ministry because the most high Yahweh Bashim Shai deals with action. Okay, I don't know who led you to believe that you can just be a comment boy warrior. I'm talking to first and foremost the man. Okay, you men first. You, 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 your, your keyboard warrior, your, your, your shalom woman. Okay, and some of you live in these cities, in these towns that the prophets are in. These particular, these various camps all throughout the, uh, uh, the, the world. You may not, you're, you're listening to the, the videos. The camp may, might be only uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes away. An hour away, you men should be at the camp. You men should be doing something for the ministry. You should be want to be a part of the ministry. Do not let this opportunity slip out of your hands. Don't get it twisted. You are not a part. Of, you don't know if you're a part of the elect, man. Yes, you find out you're an Israelite. That's beautiful. Yes, you know uh, precepts and in your. In your and you're edifying the videos online. That's wonderful. But there's more to do in the ministry. A lot of you men are in the town of the camps. You should be using your resources to help the ministry, especially in these troubling times, man. And a lot of you don't want to hear this. Do not be that wicked and slothful servant that the Lord was talking about, man. That hid his talent in the earth. It's time to get action, man. Action. The Most High is not just going to drop a a, a, a a suitcase full of. I'm using this as an example. You you you're praying. You how about Shema? Shall help me? It was the Lord going to drop a suitcase full of money in front of your face? If you're praying for money or you're praying for a certain thing, if you're praying for wisdom, okay, if you're praying for wisdom, the most high, he can give you wisdom, yes. But as you're reading the scriptures, as you're actually reading the scriptures, as you're actually living the truth, okay, putting your action, action, let me get this in James. I wrote down a couple of uh, precepts to prove my point. James 2 and 14. What does it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Oh, yeah, I believe. I believe. Yeah, Shalom. 
What the hell are you doing? Can faith save him? Can you just believe and save you? Oh, yeah, I'll just lip service. I, yeah, I believe in the most high. That's lip service. The most high ain't dealing with lip service, man. The men in the Bible actually f had to physically do things. Physically. Paul had to work. The men of the Lord had jobs. The men of the Lord worked. They actually had to walk to these various different lands. They, they wasn't flying on a damn magic carpet. Daniel was actually in a lion's den. The Most High could have gave him manna, but what did he do? He sent the prophet Habakkuk. He actually cooked and gave it to Daniel. The angel had to basically uh, trans, uh, what, it was, uh, what, what would we call it? Um, teleport, man, to feed him. Israel had an actual army. The angels could have fought all our battles, but we had an army. We had to physically go out there and kill people. Don't live in a false reality, man. And me, I'm big on this, man. The most high deals in reality. You got this way of, of, of how certain things are going to play out. That shit ain't going to play out like that. The most high is going to put us through the fire. We got to go through Jacob's trouble. Acts 20, 26 and 14 tell you. Through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we ain't going to be somewhere in, in this goddamn um, a magic cloud somewhere. Uh, levitating over everybody. While everybody, everything just. We're going to be in this, in the midst of this, man. So get that, that, that. Get that, whatever the hell you got in your mind where you can just, shit just gonna be perfect for you, get it out of your mind. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Because if you believe that, you're not reading the Bible. Paul told you he was shipwrecked. He was bitten by a serpent. He had to go through false brother. King David went through hell. Okay, so we there is reality in the Bible, man. Let me continue reading. Salah here for the rant. If a brother, James 2 and 15, if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, depart in peace. If you say, tell them shallow warm if they hungry. Be ye warm to feel. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're full and you're warm. Notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What does it profit? What is it profit if a brother or sister need food and you, you just tell them, Okay, Shalom, you, you know, you are, uh, you're full, you're, you're clothed. That shit, it's not going to work. You actually have to give them food and clothes. Even so, faith, if it have not works, it is dead being alone. Faith will move you to works. You have to be doing something to, for the ministry. You should be wanting to do for the ministry. Galatians 6 and 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity. You have the opportunity now. To help the men of the Lord. To be a part of the ministry. To be a help. To go, come down to the camp. To use your head. To work. A lot of you uh, are resourceful. You are supposed to be helping the ministry. In any way that you can. Even if certain brothers don't need you in, in their particular uh, uh, camps, you should be asking them, what can I do to help? Do you need anything? That is integrity. That is the, the most high I see that, man. The most high I see that. The scripture, oh, and this is a whole other topic. Well, not a whole other topic. This is a whole other lesson about how arms and ties, those, those are good works, man. Uh, the scriptures tell you arms delivering you from death, man. Cornelius. Read the story of Cornelius. Cornelius was not a prophet. But he gave much arms to the people, man. A lot of you, a majority of Israelites are not going to be prophets and teachers. 
They are not going to be on the forefront of this ministry. I understand that. But there are things that you can do to help the ministry. And you should be taking opportunity. I'm going to read that again. Galatians 6 and 10. As we therefore have, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the, the household of faith. The elders, the brothers. You should be going down. I ain't saying you got to go out there and prophesy because you might you might not be a prophet. You should be going down to the camps. If you if you can't go every week, you should be going at least throughout the sometime throughout the month asking brothers what do they need, and let them say, "Oh no, I'm good, brother. No, I'm good." You can't get 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 a damn case of water, a bag of ice. You can't do nothing. You just nothing. You just can't do nothing. Come on, man. A lot of you, a lot of you jacks, y'all full of shit, man. And to whom this applies to? To whomever, if if you're cut by it, good. I, me personally, this this particular topic, it it kind of irks me because I I ask I, I I have a strong dislike for lazy people. I do. You should be wanting to do something. You you go to fucking work for Esau, man. You work your ass off for Esau, man. You work your fucking ass off for this cracker, man. You will sit in front of his face, laugh at his corny ass jokes, but when it comes to the men of the Lord, you don't want to do shit, man. Fuck you. A lot of you Israelites are full of shit. There should be hundreds of you brothers at the camps, man. See, but that's why the famine coming. The tribulation is coming. The, mo the most I gonna fine tune all, all of us. Cause we got bullshit still in us. And he's gonna get it out. He's gonna get out. He, every impurity, if you're part of that, he's gonna get it all out. Before we get out of hell, he's gonna get it all out. And it's gonna be through hell. It's gonna be through hell. It's gonna be through refining us. Cause we do need to be refined. We've been raised in Babylon. So we got to change. You have to change your mindset. The Most High is a God of action. You can pray. You can pray to the Lord, but if you don't believe what you're praying, what? Well, it's not going to do you any good. You're just talking. You have to, when you pray, you got to believe, right? If you pray for uh, money, the Most High is not going to drop a suitcase in front of you, man. You might have to fill out an application and take your you, you're gonna have to fill out an application and take your ass to work. Or if you if you if you need a raise, you're gonna have to act the Lord to put a spirit on you to talk to your supervisor to give you a raise. Get out of that. Oh the, the Lord the Lord got it. The Lord got it. He got yeah, he got it. But your ass gonna have to do something. Now, when it comes to certain situations that we absolutely have no control over, of course he got it. We can't fight Esau. Esau got drones and tanks and nuclear missiles. We can't fight him. So, of course, we're going to need to be protected. But I'm talking about the things that you can do, especially these light little things that you can do, man. Do it. Do it, man. If you got the opportunity to help in any way, do it, man. Don't don't let this opportunity pass you by, man. Please, brothers. You wouldn't do you wouldn't let an opportunity in the world pass by you. How much more now helping these are the, the men that you're watching on YouTube and these different platforms, the true brothers? These are the prophets, man. These are the men that you're reading about in the Bible. They're back. They're back. These are the men. You don't even know who you, you helping Jeremiah. You helping Ezekiel, you're helping all these great men that's in the Bible. They're back and they're preaching the word, man. They're preaching, they're teaching, they're on the highways and hedges. These are the men. 
See, but if you knew who people was in the reincarnation, if you knew that was Jeremiah, all you niggas would be at the camp. If you knew Noah was at this particular camp, you niggas would go. Oh, oh God, that's 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 such a so oh, oh, yeah. It would be hundreds of thousands of you niggas out there if you knew that was that was prophets, man. You niggas would take trips and, and get all up in the van and, and go drive just to go listen to them every week. Oh, that's Ezekiel. Boy, we, we're going every week. Oh, you didn't even think Ezekiel? Well, guess what? These are the men. They're, they're here. But you just don't know who they are. But if you, oh, oh shit, those, the, the pops, you know. Oh, boy, we. Oh, shit, that's James. That's, you know. Oh, oh son of Zebedee. All you niggas will be at the camps. Come on, man. Let me see what I got. Let me wrap. Let me wrap this up, man. Let me wrap this up. I gotta take my ass to work. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm at work in the. I'm in the parking lot. Let me close out with this. Matthew 25 and 42. For I was hungry, hungered, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in naked, and you clothed me not. Sick and in prison, and you visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, and as much as ye did it not to one of those, one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. Okay? And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. So if you don't do it to the brothers, you ain't doing it to the Lord. The same way if you give to certain brothers. The Lord, it's like you doing it to the Lord, and the Lord will pay you back, man. If the brother can't pay you back, the, you know. So you're supposed to be involved in the minute, because ultimately this is Yahushua's ministry. This is the ministry of Yahushua. His he sent his men out in Matthew chapter ten. He told him go preach the word, and that's what we're doing, starting from the uh uh uh, uh elders on down. So you seeing that you have an opportunity to be a part of the ministry, to be a, a, a help or whatever your lot is, you should be wanting to do that. That's a righteous thing, man. All right. So Lord willing, this video was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Kakodash, Shalom.